I was going to uh, clean and inspect my wife's jewelry here and uh, thought that might be something to share. I used to work in a jewelry store, so I have a few tips on that. Uh, the first thing is to get a cleaning solution that is safe for your jewelry. Things like opals, pearls, uh, soft stones, and so on can be damaged by the wrong cleaning solution. So you want a cleaning solution that's appropriate. Um, and then you let it soak in there for a while. And while it's soaking, um, let me tell you, the only thing you really need is a brush. You don't want a brush that's too soft. You want a brush that is relatively clean and that uh, if it's too soft and the bristles are too long, it'll wrap around uh, the, the prongs on the jewelry. I'll show you that in a little bit. And it can actually loosen a stone. So you want something that's a little bit stiff like this one. Uh, the bristles are a little bit stiff. This is a makeup brush, brush with natural bristles. So a little bit stiff. Um, and that's it. It's only used for cleaning things like jewelry. And again, we'll let this sit here for a considerable length of time and uh, soften the, the deposits on it and then we'll come back. So you can see back here in the holes, um, there's three holes back here, two behind the diamonds and one behind the main stone. And you can see they're basically blocked with gunk. The two smaller holes are just absolutely blocked with gunk. And the main hole, you can see that the back of the main stone is uh, kind of frosty color. Well, that's just stuff left over from fingers. Hand lotion, skin oils, dirt, whatever build up over time. So what we'll do is we'll take the brush and we'll, and we'll just kind of dab at these like this. It's hard to do without poking at the camera. But uh, you don't want to jam it in there and try to pull it out because you can loosen the stone. But you'll just, it's just a dabbing motion. You'll have to do it for quite a while. If the brush should stick into the setting somehow, if one of the bristles should get caught, don't yank it loose. Um, if you just wiggle it nicely loose and if it won't come loose, um, you can either take it to a jewelry store if it gets really snagged in there hard. Uh, you can take it to a jewelry store, have it removed, or you can just cut the bristle loose and that would probably uh, do it for you. But again, you shouldn't be scrubbing at this really hard like this and you, sh you don't want to get the bristle underneath one of these, these uh, trapped under one of the, underneath one of these prongs and bend it out or something like that. So again, just kind of a dabbing motion um, and no hard pressures. Don't pull back on it. If it does get stuck, don't yank it out of there. Just wiggle it around a little bit and take it out. I don't know if you can see this clearly, but it's a lot better than it was. It's still not 100%. I'll probably continue cleaning on it after I'm done. But now you can see the backs of the diamonds in there. Um, and the main gem is, is much cleaner. You can see around the setting. You can also see what came out of the ring. So all of that. And then this spot over here, which out of focus, but uh, yeah, all that came out of here. So looking a lot better. Okay, now let's look uh, at inspecting the uh, gems quickly so you can do your own self-inspection on the gems. This is the most important thing after any cleaning, especially ultrasonic cleanings, is to check the tightness of the stones. And again, you can do this yourself. Uh, we're not going to apply a lot of pressure here. I'm just going to take an object like a toothpick and I'm just going to touch the stone and see if I, I can get it to wiggle, but not any real serious pressure. This is just, I, you know, I'm going to check forward and backward, left and right, and then, you know, touch the edge and see if it will rotate around. And as you can see, you know, that stone's in there pretty tight. Check the main stone. I don't need to use a toothpick. I can touch it with my finger and see, and there's no wiggle on there. It's tight. And then the last side, okay, the last diamond here, same thing. You can see you got a good view of it and, you know, uh, a little bit to and fro, a little bit left and right. See if it will rotate a little bit. And the answer is no. So that's in there good and tight. Um, if it was loose, I would take it to a jeweler again because this is not a, a fixing a, a, a prong or whatever is not a DIY project. That's a special skill and you don't want to lose your gems. So again, uh, that's it. You can uh, clean your stones. There's some, uh, you know, basic cleaning you can do. And also you can do your basic uh, stone inspection to make sure your stones are tight. If there's any looseness in the stones, 
be sure to take it to a jeweler. Most jewelers will fix them for free. So anyway, there you have it, men or women's jewelry. <laughs>